Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to show you the steps that you can follow to grow your very own baobab trees from seeds. Be sure to stick around for our top tips towards the end. We also have all this information packed into an ebook for our loyal viewers. Before we begin, let's recap some background info about the fantastic baobab tree. The baobab is an African native and is believed to be one of the largest succulents in the world. Capable of growing up to 25 meters tall, this tree is easily distinguishable thanks to its wide, squat trunk and extensive branch system which makes the tree look as though it's growing upside down. The baobab is also known as the cream of tartar or monkey bread tree in its native Africa. While the tree is a marvel to behold in its appearance alone, the fruit can also be used to treat ailments like fevers. The fruit can also be used to brew a drink with a similar taste to lemonade. The baobab can also act as a refuge for dehydrated natives as rainwater collects in the center of the tree, acting like a natural reservoir. As a succulent, they thrive in hot climates and prefer sandy, well-drained soils. The species we are going to grow in this video is called Adansonia digitata, but there are many different species distributed throughout southern Africa. Now that we have covered some of the basics of the baobab tree, let's dive into the details of growing them from seed. To get started you will need baobab seeds, trays or pots, coarse sandpaper, potting soil, river sand, and a small container. Baobab seed are notoriously slow and difficult to germinate. Therefore, we are going to treat the seed before we plant them. Using your sandpaper, file your seed until you create an almost transparent layer. Try and file the entire surface and do not be gentle in this step. These seed coats are extremely hard and by removing the outer layers, you can help the seed to take up water, which is necessary if a seedling is going to emerge. You may want to use some pliers to get a firm grip on your seed and to protect your fingers from nicks. Once you have filed your seed, place them in a container and pour boiling water over them. Leave them to soak for 24 to 48 hours. If you can, periodically refill the containers with hot water. While your seed are soaking, you can mix your soil. We are using an all-purpose potting soil mixed with river sand. As we mentioned earlier, baobabs grow in the sandy African soils and do not tolerate waterlogging. The river sand promotes drainage and therefore prevents root rot. Our mix is made up of one part potting soil to one part river sand. You can also use a commercial succulent or cacti mix too. Fill your pots with the soil. The long taproot of baobab seedlings can be quite fragile and get damaged easily during transplantation. Therefore, we recommend using one medium-sized pot per seed. This will provide enough area for roots to grow and establish before you need to transplant your seed. After the seed have soaked, the seed will have imbibed, or swollen up with water. You can see here the difference between a non-soaked seed, a seed that was sanded and soaked for 24 hours, and a seed that has started to germinate. After soaking, the coats will have softened and maybe even start to peel off themselves. Try and remove this covering either with your fingernails or by giving your seed another filing with the sandpaper. Be careful in this step, some seeds may have started to germinate and any damage to the radical, which will form the root, will kill your plants before they even get a chance to grow. After you have treated your seed, sow them into 1 cm deep holes. Lightly cover them with soil. Give them a good soaking with a fine irrigation and keep them in a warm area. Make sure your soil is kept moist, but not waterlogged. In a few weeks time, your seed will start to emerge, although this may occur quicker in warmer environments. Your seedlings will still require regular watering. With every irrigation, soak the soil well and only water again once the top couple of centimeters have dried out. When your seedlings have grown two true leaves, you can transplant them into a larger container filled with a sandy mix. And that's all for our method on growing baobab seed. As we mentioned at the start of this video, we have some top tips that you can follow to maximize your success. Tip 1, treat your seed with a fungicide before you sow them. You can use a commercial product or a bleach solution. You may also want to sterilize your soil by pouring boiling water over the pots before you plant. This will also give you an indication of the drainage capacity of your soil. If you notice any pooling you need to amend your soil with more sand or other products like perlite. If you do treat your soil, make sure your pots can withstand the high temperatures. Tip 2, place some pebbles or gravel at the bottom of your containers. This will promote drainage even further and ensure that the roots of your seedlings do not sit in water. 
We are using a commercial hydroponic substrate, but any small rocks or gravel will do. Tip 3. If you do not have a greenhouse or are worried about your soil drying out simply cover the tops of your pots with cling film. The seal does not need to be airtight for it to conserve moisture and heat. Just don't place your pots in direct sunlight if you do this, the cling film will act like a magnifying glass and overheat your seed. And that brings us to the end of our video. Thank you for watching and if you would like a copy of your ebook you can find the link in the description below. See you all next time.